Hello beautiful people, Faye Vicky here. Welcome back to the number one online gossip channel. If you're new, welcome. Remember to subscribe, click the post notification bell to join my squad. As for the returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in and I really appreciate. So today's video is an emotional video of Moesha and Moongai Degai. Make sure you watch this video till the end. Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, you make me wanna talk back Talk back to you Today on 28th of May is Moesha and Moongai the guy's baby's birthday and it's so sad to say that the baby is now in heaven and so guys Moesha went ahead on her Instagram stories posted details about the baby how she gave birth to the baby then how she lost the baby and you guys you know that Moesha has been going through a lot because she has been posting so much and she has just decided to release this to post for us guys how uh, how she has been coping up what she went through you know like one year ago and and so guys, let's do this. Let me post for you guys what she has also posted for us. So she says, one year ago tonight, I gave birth to the most beautiful baby ever. Then I was going through it here. Hey, look how low my bum got. I was scared that the day I was waiting for Ilikoa Imefika, but I was excited and ready to meet my boy. A whole human was in there for nine months. No matter how much science explains it, I will never understand how with literal gods. This was when the contractions had started to become serious, so we had to get to the hospital. I may look calm, but I was suffering lol. I was six centimeters dilated here and going through it. I told the doctor I was having serious contractions and he refused to believe me until they checked my dilation and confirmed it. Then they admitted me. I experienced the most extreme and worst pain ever in the next two hours after this. Labor pain see jokes, my friend. They didn't think I would give birth that night, but I did. Then here's the baby. Happy birthday, Lyric. I love you so much. My baby boy, I can't believe it's already a year. I couldn't take my eyes away from you and now I can't even watch you from a distance. You're so far away from me, yet so close to my heart. Oh God, damn. I love and treasure you so much. Happy birthday, baby. Then getting his first vaccine, he didn't like it. Lol. But he went back to sleep immediately after the nurse was done. Mommy's big guy. I love you so much and thank you so much for taking care of us. You're so selfless and caring and I appreciate you for that. That is Mukami Mora. He was a mommy's boy for sure. I sat in shock and disbelief at his funeral service. It all happened so fast. I wasn't able to process it. Knowing that he was in that little casket tore me into pieces. I wanted so bad to go and hold him again one last time. It all still feels like a dream. Like, what the actual fuck is this? That little person I carried in my womb gave birth to breastfed and spent one month with was lying lifeless in that casket. He is no longer here. I can never see or hold him again unless there is a life after death and I choose to believe there is only because I would love to meet him again. My heart. Then we buried him. This was the most painful part, oh God. I wanted to be with him so bad and I couldn't imagine him being alone and cold in there. It was the most unsettling thing ever. I have gone through a lot, but nothing beats this pain. It feels just as fresh as this day. Lyric Kagecho, Mungai. Sunrise 2805-2021. Sunset 2806-2021. I used to snap this uh, without his face to send to my friends. Not a lot of people had seen him and I wanted to keep it like that. I only started posting his face when he passed away. Then Baba Lyric and Lyric at Moongai the guy. Then here's the baby. I will forever cherish the time I spent with you. I love you more than you could ever know. I celebrate you today, my baby. Even though it's a very painful day for me, it's also the best day of my life. It is the day I first held you in my arms. I have never and I will never experience love like this. I am so, so grateful to have been part of your life, my life. I wanted to see you grow, but we were cut too short. I honestly really hope that I do get to meet you again. Happy birthday, baby. If I hate you, then find someone new. Baby, but you know. 
Anyway guys, please pray for these two people, Moisha and Mungai the guy. As you can see guys, they are not happy, they are not at peace, they are just sad. This is a sad day for them because they remember their baby, you know what they've gone through to have the baby, then they lost the baby. Please pray for them that God will comfort them because you see that Moisha always posts sad, she remembers the baby, she cries, you know, she feels so much pain. At times she says that she doesn't know if she will ever heal from this pain because it's too much for her. She has gone through a lot but this is the worst pain that she has encountered. Anyway guys please pray for these people. And guys, if you can support them financially, spiritually, emotionally, offer them therapy or anything of the sort, it will be of help to them. Please do that. And guys, please comment good things, positive things in the comment section below. I've been your host, Faye Vicky. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. And guys, I'll be back with more videos. Bye. Say sorry.